Here we see the files log contains hashes, MD5 and SHA-1. SHA-256 is an optional package to install if needed. Stay tuned for additional videos about package management and installation. This log also lists attachment type, aka MIME type, transmitting and receiving hosts, and file name. How do you know if one host or 10 have received the file? Well, you can use this information we just talked about, receiving hosts. In addition to providing the information in this log, CoreLite can also extract files to support your existing static or dynamic analysis pipeline. But let's get back to the log. The information in the files log can be used to quickly assess if the alert is a false positive or true positive using public sites. For example, Team Cymru's malware hash registry or virus total, or even a custom private watch list. Stay tuned for a future introduction to automation using CoreLite data. The last value I'd like to point out is the file unique identifier or FUID. Every file observed by CoreLite receives an FUID and it is also used to link related logs to connection logs. Think UID and FUID working together with your SIM to assist the analyst during a hunt or investigation. I hope you enjoyed this short overview of the files log. It was my pleasure sharing the information with you. If you have additional questions, please contact us. I believe we are stronger when we defend together, so good luck and good hunting.